Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to another great video from Exit Automation on Selenium and Selenium Grid Execution Tool which is available open source in the market right now and it is really really cool to see that we can execute Selenium Grid Execution without having to have a number of nodes and hub set up to be done by ourselves just that this Selenium will take care of all of these complex set of work for us and it's really really cool to see this is one of the tool I would say the one which I was looking for a pretty long time and Zelenium really meets my need so let's quickly see and complete introduction of what Zelenium is all about and try to run a scenario and understand how things work all right so let's get started Zelenium Zelenium is a grid extension to scale your local grid dynamically with docker containers it uses docker Selenium image to run the test in Firefox and Chrome locally. If you need a different browser, your test can get redirected to a cloud testing provider like SaaS Lab, Browser Stack, or Testing Bot. So you need to basically have the setup already done in the Zelenium configuration so that it will automatically redirect you if you're looking for a browser which is not currently supported by Zelenium, like Safari browser or Edge browser or something like that. So Zelenium take care of that hard part for you as well. And Zelenium also works out of the box in Kubernetes. That's really cool because Zelenium, what it does is if your testing thread has more than five, then Zelenium will automatically spawn five different containers for you and it just run them in parallel. And once the testing is fully done, it automatically shrink them down to two default instances. That's really, really cool. I would really love to see this kind of things to be available and Zelenium really does that. And Zelenium uses Selenium Docker image as I said before and that's really cool as well because Selenium Docker image is something which is already more mature and it is really maintained a lot. So before proceeding with this video itself, there are some prerequisite knowledge or toolings that you need to have before we can move forward. The first one is you need to have Docker for Mac or Windows. So if you haven't heard what is Docker and how to work with Docker, don't worry about it. In Exit Automation channel, we already have a understanding the ABC of Docker for Windows as well as Docker itself. So you can learn from there. It's for free. And similarly, you need to have a good understanding of Selenium Grid. Again, Selenium Grid is also already discussed in our Exit Automations YouTube channel and in our Udemy courses. So you can go ahead and watch from there. And then you need to have a basic understanding of Docker's as a whole. Something like what Docker is, how to create an image, what is containers, and all those different theoretical concepts so that you can have a very good understanding of what we're going to discuss in this particular video. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to make use of our existing Docker, which is already there in my machine, which is going to spawn the Zelenium. And then we're going to run the test from there and we're going to see how the test is going to execute, right? So that's the prerequisite knowledge, guys, you need to have so that you can continue this video without any problem. So let's quickly see how the Zelenium actually works. So basically, once you run the test from the Zelenium, it's going to create a hub for you, and then it is going to create a Docker Selenium starter proxy, and then it's going to run on multiple nodes, and then it's going to run the test. And if your test has a requirement of Safari or Edge browser, then it's going to go to the browser stack SaaS lab proxy, and then it's going to run all the tests over there so that it can run the test. So there are like two scenarios in this image. As you can see, the first scenario is the local one. You don't really use the browser stack. But in scenario number two, it actually uses the browser stack and then it calls all the different kinds of browser it can execute. So these are the two different scenarios that how Zelenium actually works. It's really, really cool to see this tool is doing things for us without even us to do all those different kinds of configuration. That's really cool. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Mac operating system. All right, so this is my Mac operating system and I already installed Docker in my uh, Mac. So you can see this is the latest version, I guess, and it is currently up and running. So I'm going to make use of what is called as iTerm. So if you have already uh, seen my other advanced video series of this course, you might have uh, noticed that I am using this iTerm a lot instead of the terminal because it's really cool because you can create a lot of tabs and it remembers things and it is much better and easier to use than the out of the box terminal which is provided by Mac itself. So 
the first thing you need to do for running the Selenium is basically to download the Docker image for uh, the Selenium. So basically, I'm going to pull that thing from the Docker image. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to do Docker pull. And this is the image name which is used by Selenium official website. So I'm going to do that. So basically, it is going to get the latest version for us from the Docker Hub. I guess it's going to take some time. So once it is fully done, I'll be back. All right, so it seems like the Selenium Docker image has been completely downloaded. And the next thing we need to download is actually Selenium itself. So we need to download that. So, so this is the command that you need to use for the Selenium as well. So it's docker pull dozzle slash Selenium. So I'm going to do that as well. So basically, uh, since we already have downloaded the complete uh, Selenium image, I guess there won't be a lot in this Selenium at least. So let's see how long it will take uh, to download it. It seems like it is downloading some sort of stuff here. So once the Docker Selenium image as well as the Selenium image has been downloaded, we are pretty much good to go with in running the test. So while this is happening, I'll also show you like what test I'm actually going to execute. So this time I'm actually going to execute one of the advanced video series which we discussed in Udemy, which is nothing but automation framework development with Selenium Java. So that's the course that I'm going to discuss basically. So this is the uh, whole source code that we got and we discussed last the custom controls in our video series of our course and this particular framework is already built for running the test in parallel in both Selenium grid setup as well as in the normal execution environment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the test in this particular fashion this time so if you go to the uh, configuration here to the global configuration this is the Selenium grid setup that we need to perform in here and this is the testng.xml file that we have. So all I have to do is just change this particular URL of the Selenium grid so that I can run the test. That's it. The a framework is going to execute the complete test for us. So let's see what's really happening there. All right, seems like the Selenium uh, image also has been downloaded, which is cool. The last thing we need to do is to run the Selenium itself. So I'm just going to do a sequence of operation in here so i'm just going to paste that paste and hit enter so you can see that currently selenium is actually starting all the different con containers for us that's it so now if i create a new tab in here and if i just search for docker images so you can see we have images for the Selenium and Selenium here. These are the two things which I just downloaded. And if I want to see all the running process, so basically you can do docker ps a, which will show all the different kinds of uh, Selenium grid that is currently running in my uh, in my machine. So you can see that it has already spawned around one, two, three. So these are the three things that you need to look for, not these three things, just this one which is like up and running for like 33 seconds and 34 seconds and 36 seconds. So this is the uh, Selenium grid, I guess, which is, is taken care of by Selenium. And then these are the two nodes, which is running in different containers. So these are different container names that we have. So that's it about the images that you have and the containers that is running available. And the one thing that you can see is, apart from these great things that you have, there is also some great things available out of the box in Selenium, which is really, really cool to see which is nothing but the dashboard and the live preview. So if you go to the Chrome browser and then go to the localhost 444 slash dashboard, you can see there is something called as Zelenium dashboard. So this dashboard currently is like zero because test has run so far. The reason is because there is no test executed, but you can see something happens here. Once you run the test, you can basically see a recorded video of the test sometimes, but most of the time I see there is a timeout kind of issue. And also it shows you the Selenium log as well as the browser log, which is really, really cool. You can see that as well. And the another thing that you can see is basically, uh, the grid admin slash live so which is really really cool as well so you can just type like localhost 
triple uh, four here and there is something called as grid and you can type something called admin slash live so you can see if the test is actually running you can even see a live interaction from here these are some of the coolest thing I would say available out of the box in the Selenium C. You can see there is a, a VNC automatically available here. So you can see what things are happening here. So you can see there is a container name, which is currently running in my machine uh, over here in the Docker. And it also shows that particular uh, image for us, which is really cool. So you don't really have to explicitly connect the VNC and do things of that nature. It's automatically there for you out of the box which is cool. So enough said about the uh, setup and enough said about the different features which is available within Selenium, which is really cool. And now let's try to run the test and see what's going to happen. So basically, as I said before, we already have a grid setup enabled framework available in Udemy course of Excel Automation channel. You can go ahead and see how the course is being designed. That course is actually something we already discussed how to run Selenium test in parallel using test ng and using custom test ng runner so we already built that so i'm just basically going to use the exact same uh, code from there and i'm going to start executing it so i'm just going to open this particular uh, project over here and what i did is like uh, if you go to the configuration of our framework here i just set the localhost colon uh, 444 slash wd slash hub which is going to be my local selenium grid setup so i have connected that so this is going to be the selenium grid setup which we ran from the selenium so now if i try to execute this test again for executing this test from our framework i'm just going to execute this from here so you can see that the test is actually going to start running at the same time we can see something is going to happen in all these different areas so you can see there there is a live uh, interaction going to spawn so I can you can see something is happening here and you can see there is a browser coming in there which is cool so you can see there is a uh, live interactions happening my Excel automation website is currently executing the test over there I guess the test is already completed and there is a start video uh, uh, processing gonna happen so that you can see that in this Zelenium uh, dashboard let's see okay so it basically takes some time here because it's still processing th something over there and uh, you can see that we already saw the test has executed over here which is cool and i guess the test has already successfully completed so if i go here you can see that one scenario executed with one test passed and five steps has been passed here and there's one more scenario which has like eight uh, steps which has been executed as well so these two tests has been successfully completed in a matter of second and I guess this guy is still taking some time to upload the video for us so as I said this mostly fails for me in uh, Mac operating system but when it comes to Windows it is pretty faster alright seems like uh, there is a timeout.png I don't know why and this guy uh, has been stopped there so if I go to the dashboard if I refresh this time you can see there is a uh, test available for us and you can see there is a video created for us so it is kind of running the test and it is trying to uh, wait for the test to complete something like that and you can see it is still running and nothing has happened and that's why the test has got failed and this is also running I guess it is going to create a new employee for me I guess something has happened here and for some reason it has not created but but yes this is how the Selenium grid setup is actually running so basically uh, you can just run your test and Selenium is going to take care of things for you and there is a logs as I said before there is a Selenium log and there is a browser driver log so here we can see what's really happening uh, in our test and what happened while well, the test has got, got executed and I guess you can also capture all these uh, errors from the Selenium log itself if there happens to be any issues so I actually don't see any issues while running the test because the test in the framework has been reported as successful if there is any problem then it's going to show those error for us but yes this is the thing the Selenium grid setup is actually being configured very effortlessly so we don't really have to set up the node the hub 
and take care of the firewall proxies and all those stuff those things are already there out of the box within selenium and it automatically records things for us that's really cool so you can do this live preview which is also available out of the box that's amazing and i guess this tool is really awesome while you're going to run the test in multiple different browsers with selenium containers if you have a browser stack or testing bot authentication or credentials already available you can automatically connect that so that you can run the test on multiple different browsers in multiple different machines automatically and Zerinium will take care of that for you. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.